taking one final peek off your Thursday, we did break a record yesterday, 62 degrees, new record. Previous one actually occurred last year in 2015 at 57 degrees. We were still above average for our morning low at 42 degrees, but nowhere near the record low of one. And looking at your sunrise and sunset times, we're down to nine hours and 34 minutes. Looking at your today's highs though, because of all the, the cold front that came through and those winds and a little bit of cloud cover, temperatures were at least close to what they're supposed to be for this time of the year. 42 in Marquette, 47 in Ironwood, 45 in Munising, 44 in Ontonagon. Those winds still coming out of the north and northwest between around 10 miles per hour, 11 in Munising, 12 in Iron Mountain, 8 in Marquette and Escanaba, and further towards the west, 8 out of the northwest in Ironwood. Looking at what's ahead going into the weekend, for tonight though, temperatures are going to be below freezing, thanks to the mostly clear skies and just the winds beginning to relax a little bit. By tomorrow though, good news is because that cooler air is moving very quickly towards the east, we will see temperatures rebounding back to above average temperatures will actually be back into the 50s, so about 10 degrees warmer than they were today. But by the time we get towards the very end of the weekend into early next week, we'll be dealing with a series of a couple of disturbances pushing through the work week, so that will increase some of our clouds and even bring us a slight chance of a shower. You're set up for tomorrow, that chillier air now pushes into parts of New England. The warmer air now coming towards the Great Lakes as high pressure is now situated in parts of Indiana and also the winds will pick up once again. Future cast shows that the clouds will begin to diminish throughout the overnight and into your Saturday. We'll have a mostly sunny to sunny day. Very beautiful. Take advantage of the outdoors. Do any outdoor activities. Go play Ultimate Frisbee. Check out the leaves. Take advantage of especially with these warm temperatures we've been seeing for the majority of the month of November. Going into Sunday, it'll be about the same pretty much. So good, you know, second straight weekend with good weather. Um, and by the time we get to your late Sunday, though, we will begin to notice an increase in the cloud cover. And that's going to be the beginning of things to come when it comes to these couple of quick moving disturbances pushing through the state. We'll have a mixture of sunny clouds with maybe a 10 to 20 percent chance of rain. And that really all begins starting on Monday. For tonight, though, 28 degrees. We're going to have that cold air just hanging on just for tonight. So do bundle up if you are going to do any outdoor activities late tonight or into early tomorrow morning. By the time we and those winds are already beginning to shift by tonight out of the west. By tomorrow, they will take more of a southwesterly approach at 10 to 15 miles per hour. We're going to warm up about 10 degrees from where they were today, hovering those low to mid 50s, 52 in Houghton, 52 in Crystal Falls. So you can see throughout the majority of the map, 52 is the magic number. The only exception is the Munising at 53 degrees. And as you can see, going into your day plan a little more closely into your Saturday, sunrise will occur at 7.49 a.m. We're going to be waking up in those upper 20s, but bouncing back into the 50s. And by the time we get to tomorrow evening, because we're going to still deal with a little bit of those winds, those temperatures are not going to fall too much. So we'll be actually above average tomorrow night. So we'll be about a lot more milder, hovering close to the 40 degree mark. And going into the next seven days, Sunday, about the exact same thing as your Saturday when it comes to your temperatures and just the sunshine, which is going to be spectacular. Uh, by the time we go into your Monday and until Thursday, we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds just because of some quick moving disturbances pushing through. Tuesday will really be the best day out of those four days where we'll have that rain chance. Where, but temperatures are going to be slightly cooler than they were throughout the weekend as they're going to be around the 50 degree mark. But above, average, above freezing though for your morning lows. And by next Friday, we're going to be dealing with a, a very strong system coming out of the plains. And that's really going to give us our best chance of rain and pretty much the best chance we've had this entire month. It's been pretty dry. It's been above average. We do need some rain here and Friday is looking to be that, uh, that soggy day.